Hi, this is Leslie, and today I'm showing you a little workbook that I picked up for my uh, fourth grader. I actually picked it up, I think, last spring or in the summer, intending it to be a summer practice for multiplication and division. Actually, he hasn't learned division yet, but multiplication. Um, and we just never got around to it, so I'm showing it to you now, untouched. So it says here for grades three and four, I'm planning on um, adding this to his weekly binder, maybe for Fridays, as a little fun thing to do. It's math for Minecrafters, and you might want to roll your eyes looking at it thinking, oh yeah, it's probably just a bunch of drill sheets branded with Minecraft stuff, you know. So, and I get you, I've seen that kind of thing too, uh, but I have used some of these Minecraft, you know, like different types of Minecrafters workbooks, maybe basically like this on like earlier math and this kind of thing, and it's really is math for Minecrafters. Um, it, it really does have um, Minecraft specific stuff in it. So for your kids who love Minecraft, this is, uh, I, I think, a good way of um, getting them into it. So I will say like, this is a pretty good quality book too. Uh, the pages are nice and thick. Uh, you see here, a note to parents and then different types of math we're, in, we're doing in here. I just kind of do a, let's just go through one page at a time. So here's an example of an exercise. See, it looks like these pages are perforated, which is nice because I will tear these out so I can put them, and I'll hole punch them so I can put them in my son's binder, uh, weekly binder. Uh, so here's an example page, multi multiplication by grouping. And at first glance, this does look like, oh, it is exactly what I said. It's just got a bunch of Minecraft stuff in here and then do some math. And you know, there is some of that. And this page will be an example of that. But then you see here, for example, um, where they're doing, they have a mystery message they have to figure out uh, to get the answer to this question. Where does the baby creeper go when his parents are at work? And so that's super cute. Uh, so is a Minecraft specific answer going to be here? The word problems tend to be like that. Um, so again, here you have some of your pages that just kind of have Minecraft stuff. And here they're um, finding patterns here. So it's like skip counting and place value. And here telling time. So there's a variety of, of math type works. So this is a good review for your third or fourth grader. Because I know I do time with my kids when they're like first or second grade. And, um, and honestly, we haven't really done a lot of review after that, other than, you know, when they ask me for the time, I say, look at the clock. What, what you, you know how to tell time. You tell me. Uh, so I, I think uh, this is a nice, quick little review. It, I like this kind of thing also for like morning work uh, to kind of get into their day, do something a little bit fun where they're reviewing something. Um, so here's an, another example of doing some table work here, and this is all Minecraft specific stuff. The villagers have emeralds to give Alex in, in exchange for her food items. Look at the table below to solve the problems that follow. And so this is all like the farmer villager has whatever, you know, so it, it has very, it's not just pictures of Minecraft stuff. The language is also Minecraft related. Geometry skills practice. Okay, these word problems, all Minecraft stuff. One cow drops three pieces of raw beef. So if, if you haven't played Minecraft, that may be confusing to you. But if you have played Minecraft with your kids, you know what that means. How many pieces of raw beef can you get from four cows? So it's a real word problem, but Minecraft specific. One full day in the game world in the game world is the same as 20 minutes in the real world. If you spend five days in Alex's world, how many real world minutes go by? I love that. I mean, I just, I love that. You know, work problems just aren't fun in general, and, but this makes it fun for them. Uh, you have some repeat, like you see these a lot when it gets to like the skip counting stuff. Um, more time, we've got some money practice here. I like that this is, like pictures of real money is really what the coins look like. Um, and so again, good review for, for um, counting change and all. A little bit of geometry here. I love this. You know, Minecraft really does lend itself to, to, uh, to education, especially, especially with 
like building walls and also this is a, a perfect place to use it for geometry and multiplication as well. Um, more, there's a lot of these uh, mystery message problems, spawning eggs, some of the, the stuff when I've done pages like out of a different book with my younger son, I, I totally didn't know what I was talking about. I had to have my first grader explain it to me. My first grader at the time explained it to me. Um, hardcore mode, I love how they do that because that's a mode in, in Minecraft. Uh, equal parts, and then here you have one of their signs with something on it. I just love it. So like these are thick, thick, good quality pages, um, colorful. Uh, it might be too colorful for some kids, but if your child loves Minecraft, uh, it, it, I think then they're used to the colors, so they'll they'll love it more. Word problems, what a great way to practice word problems. Um, more tables. So this is real math learning. Here we have geometry with angles um, and things that you see and pictures of things that you see in Minecraft. I love that. Identify the angle shown in each picture as acute, right, or obtuse. And um, I just think that's so clever. Look at how they have the angles here in red, taking images of things in Minecraft and looking at the angle on it. I mean, what a way to capture the attention of a student who maybe isn't totally into math. And, you know, a lot aren't. Uh, animal tally, I love these pictures. I just love them. More geometry, more word problems. Very cool. And then the answer key is at the back. So the way I'm going to use this is I'll, I'll tear them out so I'll be able to just, it's perforated, so I'll tear these out, I'll hole punch them. And then, um, how many pages are here? Let's see, we have first worksheet's page four, and then the last is 59. Um, so I might have him do like just one page a week, or um, depending on how he likes it and how he does with them. Because I'm thinking like on Fridays is an easier day, so I'm thinking Friday, this is a good thing for like a fun Friday. Um, I've also used this for morning work where they do their calendar work and then they have something like this to do for a little fun. So I might do that and that would be like an everyday type thing. Or I might use this for our easy weeks. We do Sabbath school and this coming up year we're doing like six weeks of school or this is a plan. Six weeks of school on and then one week off and the week off is really an easy week. It's, it's off from me from a lot of teaching but they'll still have uh, th some things to do but like a little more fun. So this might be a good thing to do um, actually, that I think that's my, what, what I might do. So instead of his regular math on the easy weeks, um, he'll do each day like a page out of here. And considering the number of pages in here, um, I think that's that'll probably be a really good option. Um, and um, yeah, and so and I don't get too picky if like if something gets really difficult for them where they're like, oh, this one's hard. I don't want to like the word problems. I don't want to do all these. You know, maybe they just want to do a couple. That's fine. It doesn't matter to me because um, this is more for some fun practice and review. Uh, so those are just my thoughts on how I'm planning to use this. Really nice little book. I really do love these. The books in this series, I, I find that they are um, for real, educational, and um, grade level appropriate, and really do work Minecraft into the subject matter, and not just play, pay lip service to it, or not just have black pictures of Minecraft. It's for real Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I appreciate your time here. If you found this useful and helpful, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.